Hello and welcome to another video for Mars Touch Toys Games Collectibles. And today we are looking at the uh, Batman Automobilia Collection, which was released by Eagle Moss Collections. Uh, started being released in January of 2013, uh, and the series ran. Um, I think it was fortnightly they were produced, or, or, or by fortnightly, uh, and they released 85 different vehicles from the collection. Uh, as well as seven specials. Um, so 80, 85 plus seven, 92 vehicles all in all um, in the total. Um, and as I think they ran right up until about 2022, I think it was just before Eagle Moss uh, went into liquidation and shut down. Now each of the models um, came in a uh, acrylic case as you can see this one is um, and they're all on a 1.1.43 scale uh, they were hand painted die cast metal um, and some of the displays also included uh, three-dimensional enhancements such as computers characters or scenic props um, that, that was mainly on the early ones I think they dropped that idea later on because of uh, a cost involved um, but overall um, these models were really nice very well made and presented very very well and this particular one we are looking at today is uh, number 28 in the collection and it is from the definitive comics number 122 and it is of the Catwoman's Catmobile and this is the model in front of us now um, as you can see it comes in the uh, all the, the, the bubble um, there is a barcode on the back there as you can see um, but what I'm going to do in actual fact because the bubble is beginning to lift from the the board I'm actually going to take it off you can see it's beginning to lift there so I'm going to actually take it off and because I want to have a very good look at this model itself um, it, it is a great looking model um, so let's get it out and have a good look outside of the uh, sealed container Okay, so I removed the model from the packet, and this is what we've got. So it's still actually in the container. Uh, if we look at the bottom of the container, uh, there's not a lot on there. It's just two screws that are holding the model on. And there's some tape there, which is uh, holding the model together. So I'm just gonna peel back that tape, and I'm gonna lift the lid off, if I can. Yep, okay, so there we are. So that's the acrylic case taken off. That's the backdrop. Now, the, the, these backdrops are nice because they are lenticular, so they they move um, and um, they give you the uh, the impression of a 3D effect. Uh, so it's a central airport, and you've got the uh, balloon there um, or zeppelin, whatever it is, and there's a plane coming in and a tractor towing the zeppelin. Um, it's just blank on the back, um, and on the back he's got uh, TM and DC Comics. Um, printed on there but that sits at the back of the display so if it was still displayed in the case uh, that's what it would be but because i've opened the case i've just taken it out okay so this is the catmobile um as i say it's cat catwoman's um car um and it's from the definitive comic number 122 and it's the car that appeared in that particular comic um now let's have a good look at this because it's a nice guy and now it is a die cast model and it all appears to be metal apart from the seats as you can see there and the um, uh, windscreen other than that it all appears to be metal now the, 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 it's a lovely front of the car there you can see you've got cat the cat face and you can see the whiskers on either side which is also great uh, and, and you've got the, the paws that come out the front of the car there over the 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 mud guards the front mud guards there um and the back you've got the back paws again coming out from the, the the back mud guards over the back of the uh wheels and of course the tail which is the the boot lid so really really nice model you've got all the uh, oh these are plastic as well the, the pipes the decorative pipes that go from the engine uh, the exhaust pipes um the engine to the back size there um and I think the, the the wheel trims are plastic as well, but other than that, the rest of it is uh, metal die cast. Nice model, 
143 scale and if we just get some measurements on here we're talking at 12 centimeters in length as you can just see that um, we measure the widest point which is the back there so we're looking at about if you can see that as well so we're looking at about four centimeters I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so I, you can see better um, and if we measure the height wise um, I'm going to measure from the bottom of the tire which is there to the top of the tail and we're again we're looking at about four centimeters might be better if we do that over this side uh, so you're looking at four centimeters but again it's a very nice model what can i say it's a very nice model really does look the part and would look very good in anyone's collection um as with the backdrop on it as well i mean you don't really need to take it out of the case really um this case looks like it's got a little bit of a crack in it for some reason. I don't know how that's happened, but um, it was part of a shop find. Um, we bought out a lot of uh, sh uh, shop stock from a comic and toy book shop. Um, and this was amongst the stock that was there. And now originally this would have come with a magazine, with magazine number 28. Um, however, um, the magazine, we couldn't find the magazine with this. We only had the car um, in the in its perspex container um, and in its um, sealed um, plastic case so um, there we are um, so unfortunately we haven't got the comic but there we are it's still a very very nice model uh, and terrific to look at and does display very well um, even with the crack on the top of the um, acrylic case but otherwise it's still spot on still very very nice okay how well did these models do well eagle moss did produce a lot of these models um they did they were all done by subscription originally so you had to subscribe to eagle moss to get them um i think they then they did start offering them to some uh, shops um they would buy quantities of them and sell them at the shops i think some news agencies had them as well um, so they were fairly easy to come by and in this day and age obviously with the internet you can you can order things online and pick them up very e easily um, i think egan moss was sending them out uh, monthly so you had two issues once a month which were sent out to you so they were fortnightly issues so yes they've done quite well they did move a, a a big quantity not just here in the the uk but also here are collectors in the us they they moved a tremendous amount so there was a massive massive quantities of these produced um now over the years though these models have become harder and harder to find especially the rarer ones so um or the older ones the so the first release series up to the, up the first 30 they always seem to be the ones that are more difficult to find than the later versions i'm guessing maybe the volumes increased as the series went on uh, which would make sense because more people subscribe over the course of time um but um but yeah i mean ones like these they very rarely come up for sale um on the platforms you you occasionally see the catwoman um car come up but not very often um you do see a lot of the other ones come up um a lot of the later models come up as i say but not so much the earlier versions um but they do come up with the magazine or without the magazine it's your preference to what you actually want um okay so yes they do go up, come up on the platforms yes they are available on the platforms with and without the magazines or alternatively we at minus touch have managed to find a few of these but we do have them separately without the magazines and they are currently available to purchase on the minus touch website which you can get to very simply by clicking the link below it will take you straight to the website where you'll be able to find this and many other vintage batman items and many other vintage toys, games, and collectibles come to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website. There will be something for everybody. And I am absolutely positive that this is something you won't want to miss because we literally have thousands and thousands of new products which we're shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis. So if there's something in particular you're looking for, something old that you're never able to find, something quirky you might want to buy for a friend, or maybe just something from your childhood that you'd like to own again to help you recuperate those long lost childhood memories. Well, stay tuned, 
keep watching because you never know the next item we upload could be that item you've been looking for okay that is it for me on this particular item i do hope you've enjoyed reviewing this wonderful wonderful catwoman automobile with me thank you for watching and we will see you again next video so bye for now